up guys? Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit dizzy. Uh, hopefully this will be the last project on the, on the camera slider here. And I've got another upcoming project that I really wanna use this on, so I need to get it finished. I just thought I'd do a quick review of the cart here. Um, you know, I did some extra uh, machining on this and added this uh, uh, station in the middle here that, that this is gonna attach to. And then um, on the end, on this end where the idler goes, you know, where the pulley just, you know, wraps around and runs back and forth on, um, you know, we've got this block here and then machined out uh, the back of it and a riser to come up and just, you know, it's got an idler pulley. And then on, on this end, uh, you remember this, this is a steel three by three uh, square tubing that, um, you know, we TIG welded the top on it and drilled the holes and all that. The, sur the uh, stepper motor is uh, mounted underneath it. So I've got, um, these little switches here uh, just to do an electronics review and really the last thing uh, left is just to wire up all the electronics so um, the uh, and as you probably remember this came with a remote control I don't know where it is now um, so that um, well it's around here somewhere um, so that this can be turned on and off remotely uh, which is cool because you know you can you know place this thing anywhere maybe it's even out of reach and start the slider and start the camera with the GoPro remote and the remote to the slider and also be able to turn it off when you want to. But the one thing is I, I don't want uh, this to come crashing into this, you know, uh, if I can't get to the remote or whatever and stop it. So I've got some little limit switches here. Um, got two of them, one's gonna go on each end and they'll be wired up in the normally open, I'm sorry, normally closed position. Uh, we'll either route the ground or the power through it in the normal, normally closed position. And then when uh, when it reaches either end, it'll break contact and break the circuit and you know and stop it. So we'll just uh, probably do some time lapse here. Not going to show a lot of detail, and um, you know we'll bring it back at the end when we get it up and running. All right, thanks everybody. <laughs>
Switch, watch the power button on this. It'll shut the power off when it gets down there. Kind of aggravating, you have to bring it back off. And same thing down here when it hits the uh, limit switch, it'll shut it off. Shut the see LED power. We're gonna get a battery for the remote control and we'll take it outside and get some uh, test footage with it. Ha <laughs> ha 